Okay, so with this call, you want to refresh the listing, look at the pricing maybe? Yeah, I think it's more of looking at the pricing, seeing if we're missing anything. So I just want to ensure that we're in the right place and marketing it properly, prices are good. I don't want to give the properties away. And what I mean by that is go so low in price where we get locals or parties or things like that, you know? Obviously summer was tough. I think it's just because of the flood of the market, but we don't have that many reservations compared to last year that I okay. would you know, expected to see. Scottsdale is super competitive. In fact, every Every city in the entire world, I think I've done more listings in Scottsdale. The call I had before you, they're also uh -huh. in Scottsdale. Wow, geez, how funny. I know that your season is October to April mm -hmm. is the main season. Sure. From all the rooms data, which I can bring up, it also looked like the top 10% can see year round occupancy of about 80%. Even in the slow season, wow. they're still seeing about 75%. That's what the data is telling me. So if we could get your listing up there, that's the potential you have. This dotted line is 90th percentile. So even in your slow season, you can expect an occupancy of around 70, 75%. Wow. So, so when we're thinking about troubleshooting and fixing our listing, when we have problems, we all have problems, no matter how good we are as a host. The first thing we look at is your online listing. So that's what we're going to look at right now, your online listing. This next okay. thing is your hospitality, which is your rating. So your rating looks 100%. We wouldn't really focus mm -hmm. on that. The last thing is pricing, uh, lowering pricing. Obviously, we don't want to lower pricing. That's why it's the third step in our troubleshooting process. But we'll okay. get to pricing as well. First, I want to look at your actual listing. Now, there is something to be said for re-optimization. Every now and then, I have okay. to do this. I do this two or three times a year. I just go in and I mix things up. We're just communicating to the algorithm. We're here. We're ready for bookings. It does seem to set off something in the algorithm, throwing a bunch of changes at the listing. Looking at your occupancy. Okay, you're wide, wide open but yeah, these, these are yeah. the slow months. I'm seeing you're at your minimum. So if we go to the 14th, you have a two night minimum midweek. Yeah, 175 looks like your minimum. Cleaning fee is 225. You have a four bedroom. So that's in line with the market, I'd say. Yeah, and, and the setting that we have is anything in the next 30 days or so, uh, it'll change the Thursday or Friday, three day minimum to two day minimum. I think your, your booking lead time is probably like 60 days. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So if yours is 60 days in advance, we would actually want to change that requirement you just said for 60 days, because at okay. 60 days, the chance of us getting booking goes lower and lower and lower. So you're just making okay. that change at 30 days, which is what most hosts are doing. Similarly with last minute pricing, which for you, last minute pricing, I define as anything between today and the booking lead time. So 60 days, if that's what you are. Okay. And I'd like to actually check that in your listing if you don't mind pulling sure. it up. So we want to lower our price a little bit more, a little bit mm -hmm. sooner, a few percentage points okay. more, a few days sooner. That's that's our idea. Most hosts use last minute pricing the next seven days, the next 14 days, maybe the next mm -hmm. 30 days, but never do they do the next 60 days. So I want you to okay. put a last minute gradual discount at 60 days up to 50%. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I would change that 40 days to 60 days. Okay. Now, I'm not sure it's going to matter much for you because you're already at your minimum. I want you to go to September. Click that month. Let's see. September. Okay. So it is going to matter. Now, I want you to, I'm looking at your minimum stay. Click edit again, customizations. Let's change that 30 days to 60 days. So last minute bookings changes to two nights within 60 mm -hmm. days. I'd do that. Yeah. Okay far out minimum pricing. Okay, that's not doing what you think it's doing. What do you think that's doing, minimum far out pricing? Anybody booking two and a half months in advance, like, you know, 75 day lead time, do a 30% um, premium of base price. Uh, no, I ask because some people, the way they phrase this, for some people it works for their brain and they're like, oh yeah, that's exactly what I thought it does. For mm -hmm. mine and your brain, it's not doing what we think it's doing. This is actually having an effect on your minimum price. So it's boosting your minimum price by 30%, which okay. doesn't really make sense. Oh, out 70 days, right. the minimum price isn't affected anyways. So I would just turn that off. Okay, minimum far out, okay. And then we can add that in for you if you want. So you want you want your base price to be increased by 30% more than 75 days into the future. You you tell me, I mean, should I okay. even Let's, do that with where we are? So for me, I lower my price by 10% because I realize that price labs increases my price a little bit too much, about 20% too high. Okay. But I would okay. be okay getting a booking three months in advance for a 10% premium. And I think that probably will be the case for you as well. I mean, these prices, if you get, what do these prices look like in November? So I think compared to last year, they're definitely a little bit lower, I'll be honest. But we can't base this. I mean, I, I just think that there's just been so many more houses on the market as well. This kind of looks like rates that I would expect to see in September. Hmm, but okay. again, I'm wide open. So it's like, hey, look, I'll take anything at this point. <laughs> you know. Why don't we just lower your base price? So okay. you're at 364, your minimum is one. 75. Let's lower your base price to maybe 335. 335. Okay. All right. I'm going to show you my listing. This is something brand new that I'm testing out. 
but we can test it out okay. on yours too. This is what I want to do for you. I want to create this cover photo for you on the search. It just, it shows just this square. And then as they open it up, okay. you can see here. So these are like four things that my, I know my guests really value. So they're seeing okay. that it's super different. It pops out from the competition. It's well done. It looks yeah. nice. So we'll do that for you. Wow. We'll see if you get some more sure. clicks. And then there's one more thing I want to do for you. So you see this text here in the sound system. This is something the guests wouldn't know. They're looking at the photos. It looks like a nice photo, but they wouldn't really mm -hmm. notice that the sound system. I would normally put that in the caption, but also mm -hmm. they might not read the caption, but they're definitely looking at the photo. I want to create some of these for you, but I need your help in where actually, why don't I just look at your listing and see, maybe I can suggest some things. So what I'm, what I'm trying to look for, and I need your help is like amenities that the guests can't see from the photo that okay. they would value. And we can add just a sure. bit of text. We can definitely put the Netflix on here. That's an easy one. So I know like for the pool, I added heaters to three of the four properties. One property just doesn't have gas. So, you know, we can't add the heater there, but the pools now three of the four again are uh, heated pools. I just did that over summer to help with, and I did add that to all my listing titles as well, but I'm um, hoping that will help with Q3 and Q, you know, Q4, Q1 of next year. So I think that's cool. We can definitely put that in there for some reason if someone didn't see the title. That's an easy ad. Also, I want Maybe you to like change that. Insta Ready. Um, I think let's ch let's change up the title. Let's put it's, your competition doesn't have heated pool. That's not common for your area. It's pretty common, I think. Now, I think it, it is it's more common. common with people who changed their primary residences to Airbnbs. Last winter, every request was, "Hey, do you guys have a heated pool? Do you have a heated pool?" And that just Got told it. me, "Hey, I need to have one." Yeah. There you go. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful so. on Airbnb. The guest tells you what you need. It, yeah, your what current you need. Get, yeah. So what I want to do is I want to change up your photos. I want to I I want you to do this one as your cover photo. I think this one looks nice with the dining table. Okay. Or, because you've had this one for a while, I think I put this one I in have, uh -huh. a year ago or so. Yep. I feel like though, doesn't Scottsdale, don't a lot of the cover photos have this and even that pink thing in the pool? I think this is pretty common yeah, for you. Yeah, a lot of them do. It yeah. is. It is, yeah. yeah. So that one's not going to stick out. This kitchen looks nice. This could be a cover right. photo. So those are your two cover photos for sure. I like this one. Okay. I like this one best. This is, your competition doesn't have this. I want you to move hot tub to the first okay. words here in the front. Okay. And then I want you to move foam mattress next. Okay, so hot tub, okay. And then what else separates you from your competition? Five minute drive to Old Town. Let's try that. Say five, M-I-N, Old Town. Okay, I can do heated pool plus hot tub, foam mattress, five minute Old Town, and that's 48 characters. Hot tub, foam mattress. Beautiful. Now the things okay. that your homework is to change up the photo layout. I would do this okay. one here. I'll send you this afterwards, but I would do one, oh, okay. then the kitchen two, then the bedroom okay. three, the outdoor pool four, the hot tub okay. five, and then keep this one in the top between six and 10, because it's kind of cool and unique. And then we need a bathroom as well between six and 10. This bathroom looks fine. I think they both look pretty similar. So other things you could do is you could change up this review. This one is from uh, August, 2022. So you could change up yep. the review to something more recent or just okay. change the or just change the date. You know, honestly, it doesn't probably matter. Sure. Think about you and your competition. Have what upgrades have you made in the past year? You said heated pool. What does your competition mm -hmm. have or what do you have? Do they have is it, what are the low hanging fruit that you could add in there? Differentiating. Actually, I'm gonna make a video today about differentiation. Differentiation is okay. really key in terms of success. Whatever whether you're buying a new house or your, your existing house as as much as you can differentiate yourself from your competition, that's key. So one of the ways you could do is just go on Airbnb, search your market, mm -hmm. go in depth and look at all of your competition and see there's going to be a leader. There's going to be people doing things. There's going to be people doing things and you and you and gives you ideas. Oh, I can do this better. I can mm -hmm. do this different. And that, I guess, wraps up our call. So we did a little pricing. We changed yeah. the title. You're going to do the photos. The text as well. If there's, I know you're speaking to bachelorette parties. So that that is, that's a pretty good quote there. All your houses in Scottsdale, they all look really nice. So your mm -hmm. edge is going to be hospitality. I think. What is your hospitality and how can you communicate that to your guest in advance? I see in your text here, all reservations get access to my custom house manual, including fair bars. I'd move that up actually. And I okay. would say, I would make it shorter. All reservations okay. get access to my guidebook. I would move that all the way up to the, to the, about this space, the summary section. About, okay. about this way. Okay. But when we go to the summary section, we have to cut, we have to truncate it. So it would just be like guidebook included. You might put an asterisk and then down below, put that asterisk to the left of mm. the sentence saying, this is what's actually included. So like custom guidebook included.
that would be what you put in the bullet points. If you go to the website and you click shop all, have a new product, okay. I think, since you purchased Superhost, it's uh, an itinerary. And for you, it's going to be nice because you'd buy it once and you can use it for all of your listings. It's something oh, nice. that okay. you send to your guest. It, it's a, it's an itinerary. It's one page PDF of cool things that the guest can do. So what I do is when a guest asks extra questions, hey, do you know any good golfing bars, this or that? Then I, I answer mm -hmm. them and then I send them this. I make it sound like I created it for them. Say, hey, by the way, I just mm -hmm. created this. I hope you like it. And about 50% are like, whoa, this is awesome. And 50% don't nice. don't respond. I think that's worth it. Airbnb wishlist saves. This is something that this is new as well. It's a search hack. It, Airbnb has said more wishlist mm -hmm. saves equals higher search rank. It does have an effect for sure, but it's not a magic bullet. So you can you can purchase okay. these. I, I put you in a promotion and you I guarantee a minimum amount. But uh, it's like a level three hosting activity, if you recall that. It's, it's something that's going to help you. It's not going to make you successful. It will just help a little bit. Mm -hmm. A guest map. Oh, yeah, this is good you should do this because this is what they see in the actual listing. I'll show you an example what, okay. what it looks like on mine. So this could be helpful for you because in my guest map, mm -hmm. so my house is here, Parque Chiris, which is mm -hmm. where all the guests know, probably old town for you. And then I've shaded out this whole area because it's hilly. So if a guest is looking okay. at my listing and they happen to see this photo, mm -hmm. and let's say there there's two or three listings that they're considering, one is here and then the other two are over here in the shaded area, it's mm -hmm. possible, I it's like that. possible that they eliminate those two based on this map. Not walkable, okay, I don't know, I've never been uh -huh. there. I but like that. Yeah, because yeah. a guest, remember, okay. a guest is, and I just went through this process, a guest has a really difficult time differentiating the listings. Well, what's the difference? What's the difference? Mm -hmm. So you need to help the guest figure that out. And that's just one of the dozens of ways that I do that to help the guest out. So I've sent you all three of those links. You want to click them open sure. here um, before you have some homework to do. And that wraps yeah. up our call. Yeah. Hey, Daniel, thanks again for your time. I, I, I know we went overboard, so I appreciate your extra time here. Um, thanks for all your help. And then I'll get you those four items soon as well. Okay. Sounds good. Until next awesome, time. Awesome, man. Hey, thanks again. Happy yep, hosting. Good. Take care. Thank you.